Hello, fencers. Welcome back to another video of online training at Northwest Fencing Center. I am Coach Simon, and today I will lead some full work. The focus of the day is going to be on change of rhythm or change of speed. You can call it either way. We will start with a warm up to get moving, get uh, started this morning and we will move into the more technical part of the class. Today's class might be slightly shorter, slightly less intense than usual. However, there, there is going to be a heavy focus on technical execution, so that will compensate for that. Let's get started with the warm-up. For my warm-up today, I'm going to use a reference point on the ground. I will use this line right here for myself and I will move around this line as I start my warm up. My first warm up exercise is going to be little jumps from side to side while staying on the line. So I have one foot on each side of the line and I'm going to move from right to left and left to right, but stay on each side of the line. And I'm going to go for 30 seconds. As I do these little jumps, I will make sure my shoulders and arms stay relaxed and active. So let's begin in a couple seconds. Ready? And let's go right, side to side. Both feet leave the ground every time I change direction. And I'm going to relax his arms and shoulders. I try to be light on the landing so I shouldn't make too much noise when I land. And I try to be consistent in the size of my jump and the space between my feet. And I relax. I'm going to go for another set of 30 seconds. I'm going to involve my arm this time. So while my feet are going side to side, my hands are going to touch opposite shoulders. So let's get ready. We start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Feet are going, hands are going. My feet and hands can move at different uh, speed. And I maintain the space between the feet, the slight flex in the legs, and the relaxed work of the shoulders. A right, couple more seconds. And I relax. I shake my legs between series. Make sure I don't build up too much, too much tension too early in my workout. I'm going to do one more set. I will this time mix up the handwork, cross, then the same side, right touch left, left touch right, right touch right, left touch left. Let's get ready. And begin. Feet are going, hands are crossing, then touching the on side. Up, cross, cross, side, side. Cross, cross, side, side. And I keep working like this. A little bit of coordination while I get warmed up. And a couple more. And I relax. Check it out. On my next, you may do your stretches, remember, between set. On my next exercise, I'm going to use this line again as my center point. And I will now move my feet from both feet from one side to the other. With little side steps. 
side to side, maintaining the space between the feet. Once again, I will go for 30 seconds. 15 more seconds, relaxing before we start that new set. So stay loose, keep focusing on a good breathing and let's begin. All right, side to side, each side of the line or the spot I picked on the ground. Arms for now, relax. Stay loose, 10 more seconds. Keep space between the feet. Consistent and relax. On my next set, I will once again involve a little bit of arm work to warm up the shoulders and work my coordination in the same time. I will now work my arms forward, right and left, just in front of me, nice and loose. Let's get ready and begin side to side with the legs and forward with the arms. Nice and relaxed, just like I was trying to catch a ball being thrown at me. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Keep the movement and relax and shake it out. At this point in the warm up, you should start to feel the calves warming up as you have a lot of spring in the feet. If the calves are getting a little tight, remember you can stretch slightly, keeping one foot flat behind, doing slight lunge to bring the tension in that back leg. Let's go for the third and final set of this side to side steps. My arms are now going to work forward and up and alternate. Let's get ready. Start in a few seconds. Let's go All right, side to side and arms forward and up, forward and up, forward and up, forward and up, forward, up, up, forward, up. 10 more seconds. I keep the slight flex in the legs. And I relax and shake it out. My next work is going to warm up the quad a little more. I will work side steps a little more. Relax this time. One, two, three, and do slight squat and back up. One, two, three, squat, one, two, three, squat. Less spring, more flex to switch the warm up from calf to quad. Remember, when working your little squat, the hip goes back. Okay, I'm not squatting forward. I squat back, keeping my chest up. Let's begin. 30 seconds again. Let's go. One, two, three, squat. Hopla. Wow, nice. And relax. Work your hands as you squat. Shoulders. I still relax, no tension in my upper body. The abs are working to stay straight. There is no big tension. 
and relax. I may do short stretches between set, trying to keep my balance and staying active. Warm up. I have to stay active and keep my stretches short. Let's go again. Same idea. Side and your squat. I'm going to go for 30 seconds. It will take as many squats as I can do in 30 seconds. The goal is to make sure I get a good warm up. So I will not get injured later in my footwork. And I relax. On my next warm up, I will stretch, preparing for my lunge, with this move of crossing the knees and opening the hip. I will work this move as I change direction, working from left to right. Left leg is gonna cross and come back. Cross, move, cross, move, cross, and move. So back to a slightly more springy move and a nice balanced stretch before changing direction. So be ready, we start in five seconds. Relax. Let's go to the right, cross left, to the left, cross right, to the right, cross left, and keep going. Keep the space between the feet as you work your small steps. I try to keep my foot on the ground, straight, in line with my initial position. And relax. I will do one more set of this stretch, 15 more seconds of relaxing, shaking everything. Remember to keep that back straight as you work your, your hip. Let's get ready and begin. To the right, left knee goes up, open to the left. Right knee goes up, open to the right. And I keep going. I get a nice circle, opening my hip. Maintaining my balance as I change direction. Up, one more. And relax. All right. I will Move next to on guard position for my warm up. From my on guard position, I will work steps in place for 10 seconds. So front foot, back foot are going to tap, tap, staying in place. I will maintain a decent flex on the legs, not too much. I'm still warming up and I will maintain my chest and arms in place. After 10 seconds, I will work my front foot. So from the step in place, after 10 seconds, front foot will work out of place. Then after 10 seconds, my back foot will work out of place. And for the final 10 seconds, both feet will work out of place. Why I work 
both feet out of place, I maintain a position from which I could move. I'm still on guard position. I'm not spinning completely. I keep my legs flexed from normal to slightly wider, but I'm still flex. Let's get ready. We sign five seconds. And first, feet in the same spot. Let's go. Light footing, arms in place, shoulders relax. Five seconds. And now front foot goes, front foot out. Stay flex on your legs. Back to the middle. And now back foot out. Couple more seconds. Back to the middle. And both feet out. Five more seconds, keep it up, keep it going, and relax, and shake. Again, all these little steps should get my calf to be challenged and feel real, real tighter. So I relax, I stretch, if I need, you may use any stretch, you know, for your calves. And I'm going to go for a second set of the same thing. Let's get on guard. And pick it in place, front back. Relax my shoulders, still going. And front foot up, nice and small, just slightly farther than my starting position. A couple more seconds, and I will switch to back foot. Let's go, back foot. A couple more seconds, and now both feet. I'm going to keep this up for 10 seconds, maintaining my position and relax. Shake it out. I will warm up next my lunge. I will execute a simple lunge and stretch from there. On your position. Nice and relax. I make sure my first lunge is nice and precise, not too big. And I work from there. I can bring my hands to my hip to help the balance. And I'm going to work little springs here while lunging on my good side and slightly relax. I will pivot both feet and I lunge on the other side and work something your spring. I focus on my breathing as I do all of that. Switch again. Lunge a little deeper, your lower, and recover and check it out. I will go back to the same position and add an extra stretch next. So I loosen, I get a feel for where I might be a little tighter and try to loosen it or try to stretch it if I need. Let's go back to my lunge. Again, first lunge is nice and precise. Even if I stretch, I can work a nice, precise lunge. This lunge should be already a little farther, a little deeper than the previous one. I work my stretch again, pivot my feet, stretch again. From this position, I'm going to keep these feet in place and just straighten 
my left leg now, my back leg, and flex my front leg, keeping both feet in place. And stretch this way. And back to the lunge and back to the lunge. I'm on my off side right now, so this stretch is moderate. I switch again to my good side lunge. And same thing, shift the weight on this back leg and back to the front leg. To the back leg, I lean slightly forward, keep a straight line with my back leg and back forward. And I recover and I shake it out. I will evolve into actual lunges next. I stretch a little bit. I can start lunging with a little more comfort. And what I will do is slowly increase the stretch on my lunges. I'd rather start too small than too big. Starting too big can lead to injury. So I want to be a little bit, a little bit safer when I start my lunges. To also focus on balance and technique, I will work a small advance before my lunge. Balance my lunge to a nice recover and two small retreats. And again, advance, relax, lunge. Check the balance, recover to small retreat. I've done two. My third lunge is going to be a little more pushed. A little more power in the back leg, a little more kick in the front leg. And again, recover two small retreat. I'm at three. I'm going to do two more. Advance, kick the lunge a little further, balance it, recover, and reset. One more. Advance. Lunge, recover, to retreat, and I shake it out. I was five reps. I will do a few series of five repetitions to slowly increase my reach and give myself time to recover. Remember, at this point in the class, you're still working very Relax and very much paying attention to what your body tells you. Which muscles are tight? Which muscles are a little more tired? And based on that, I will adjust the intensity of my work. Let's go back to my nice angle position. I make sure it's good. Chest up, advance, extend, and stretch. My lunges are a little bigger now. And I reset. Advance, extend, lunge, recover, and reset, relaxing. That's two. Stretch, recover, and relax. That's three, couple more. Try to work a little deeper. But I maintain my balance. And I relax. I will have one more set. And I will be done with my warm up. Check it out. One more set. I should be now comfortable with nice long lunges. Still moderate on the explosion, but a little further on the stretch. So let's go. Small advance, nice and balanced. Extend and push that one. Balance, recover, control, to retreat. One. Two, relax. Six. 
three. I may add more retreat if I learn it a little further. Four. Last one. I reset. And I relax. I'm done with my warm up. Now is a good time to drink. So go ahead and drink. We will move next into the work of the day, change of rhythm. For the work today, I divided the change of rhythm in three sections. First, we will work simple change of rhythm from slow to fast. Next, we will work what I will call today a double change of rhythm or multiple change of rhythm. Slow to fast, back to slow. Or slow to fast, back to slow, back to fast. Rhythm will go up and down a couple times. For the third and final section of the work, we will combine the change of rhythm with change of direction and break in rhythm. What we call break in rhythm today will be when I stop or freeze for half a second before going back to my motion. It is also very effective change of speed that can be used in the belt. Let's begin with a simple change of rhythm. Let's do it all together as this one is very simple. On out, work two advances. First advance is slow, finish slow. Second advance is fast. To retreat, first retreat is slow. Second retreat is fast. I try to keep both steps the same size. First advance, second advance. First retreat, second retreat. I will do a series of 10 of this double advance, double retreat with my simple change of rhythm. So let's begin on guard. Let's go. Slow advance, fast advance. Slow retreat, fast retreat. One. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Two. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Three. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, four. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, five. Slow advance, fast advance. Slow retreat, fast retreat, six. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Two more. One more, and I relax. On this first exercise, it is very important for you to completely control this first step, finish it slow, and then completely execute the second step fast. Each step is independent in terms of speed. I rest for a few more seconds and I will do another series of the same, same work. I make sure I keep my feet in line while I work, relax my shoulders, and I begin. Slow advance, fast advance. Slow retreat, fast retreat. One. Slow advance, fast advance. Slow retreat, fast retreat. Two. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, three. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, four. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, five. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, six. Slow, fast. Slow, fast, seven. 
slow, fast, slow, fast, eight, couple more. I stay flex, I stay precise and focus on that channel speed and I relax. That was the first simple change of rhythm. Very simple, but necessary to, to control. I will move in my next change of rhythm. I will work again two steps. My speed is going to change on the final move of my second step. While working my two advances, I will start slow first advance, start the second advance slow, and then finish quick with my back foot. Working my retreat, same model, slow retreat, start the second one slow, and finish fast with that front leg. General rhythm on one foot only. Let's get in position and begin. Slow, slow, fast. Slow, slow, fast. One, slow, slow, fast. Slow, slow, fast. Two, slow, slow, fast. Slow, slow, fast. Three, fast on the final. Move, four. Five. Six, I stay focused, looking straight ahead, trying to visualize my feet. I should get a clear idea of what my feet look like without having to look at them. Couple more. Slow, slow, fast. And I relax. Check it out. I will do a second set of the same, same work. Remember that today's focus is technical. So if you're not getting as tired as usual, it's perfectly normal. That's the, the goal of today. Let's get back on guard for my second set. Change of rhythm on my final foot when working two steps. Again, slow front, slow back, slow front, fast back. Slow back, slow front, slow back, fast front. One, slow, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast. Two, slow, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast. Three, I try to keep it precise. If I lose my footing slightly, I'm going to adjust before moving to the next step. Five. Focus on this back leg. Now. Focus on the front leg. Now. Voilà. Every time, big focus on this final foot. Couple more. Slow, slow, fast. Slow, slow, fast. One more. Slow, slow, fast. Slow, slow, fast. And relax. Shake, loose, drink if you need. My next series is going to be, again, a simple channel rhythm from slow to fast. The change of speed is happening now on the back foot of the first advance. The second advance will be fast all the way. When working retreat, the change of speed 
will happen on the front foot of the first retreat, second retreat being fast all the way. This series is going to bring more speed in the motion. I have to be perfectly in control of the end of the motion and be able to stop, balance, and control before working the opposite direction. Demonstration once, then we'll do it together. Slow front foot and fast, fast. Slow back foot, fast, fast. A nice, precise break after my two steps. Series of 10, let's get in position and begin. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. One. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Two. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Three. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Four. Five. Six. Pay attention to the sound. The rhythm mix. Eight. Nine. Ten. And I relax. One more set of this one. Change of rhythm on back foot of the first advance and change of rhythm on the front foot of the first retreat. Sharp stop after the fast step. Let's get ready and begin. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Check your balance every once in a while. Six. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Seven. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Eight. Nine. Ten. Check it out. For my final series in the simple change of rhythm, I will go back to lunging. I will again change the rhythm on the back foot of the first step and accelerate this back foot into the lunge. The goal here is to bring speed to the lunge from the acceleration of this back leg. My lunge is going to be faster than in the warm up. That's why I have to be careful, work my abs, work my chest, my arms to maintain my balance as I will bring speed to my lunge. Demonstration, slow front foot, fast, fast, balance. I will slowly start the recover and accelerate as my front foot hit the ground. Control, tap, push, push. Slow, fast, fast. This should take me back where I started and I can link to my next advanced lunge. Series of 10, let's begin. Slow front foot, fast back foot into the lunge. Slow. Fast, fast, balance. Slow, fast, fast, balance. One. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Two. Slow, fast, fast. Three. Slow, fast, fast. Four. Slow, fast, fast. Five. Slow, fast, fast. Six. Slow, fast, fast. Seven. Slow, fast, fast. Eight.
slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Three. Four. Five. Six. Control balance. Seven. Eight. Nine. Control front foot. Fast. Control recover. Fast. Ten. Loose. One more change of rhythm in this one more series on that simple change of rhythm. I will take a short water break after this next series. You may, incre you may increase the size of your lunges as long as you maintain proper balance and proper execution. Let's get in place and begin. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Two. Slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out, have a drink. My next section focus on multiple change of rhythm or multiple change of speed. From slow to fast, back to slow, and eventually slow, fast, back to slow, back to fast. First, first set, go back to simple concept. Slow advanced, fast advanced, slow advanced. And slow retreat, fast retreat, slow retreat. I maintain a good balance. Try to maintain the size of the steps and try to bring a clear difference in speed between the first, the second, and the third step. Let's begin set of 10. Slow, fast, slow. Slow, fast, slow. One. Slow, fast, slow. Slow, fast, slow. Two. Slow, fast, slow. Slow, fast, slow. Three. Four. Slow, fast, slow. Slow, fast, slow. Five. Six. Seven. Slow, fast, slow. Slow, fast, slow. Eight. Nine. One more. Stay flex. Ten, relax. I will do the same set again. If you wish to make this set a little more intense, 
to bring a little bit more muscle reinforcement to the work. Simply increase the amount of repetitions. Instead of working 10 reps, work 15 reps or 20 reps, maintaining your on guard position all along. This will build more tension in your legs and add a little bit more muscle work to the channel of rhythm. Let's go for a second set, same thing. Slow, fast and slow. Slow, fast and slow. One, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast, slow. Two, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast. Slow, three, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast, slow, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. On my next exercise, I'm going to go back to acceleration on the back foot of the first step. Work the second step also fast. Then go back to slow. The speed build up in the double advance. Now it's going to be greater. So I have to be more in control. So I can go back to slow on my third step. Demonstration. Slow on the front foot. Fast from the back foot. Five second advance back to slow. Same idea on the retreat, slow, fast, and back to slow. Set of 10, let's get ready. And begin, slow, fast, fast, slow. Slow, fast, fast, slow, one. Slow, fast, fast, slow. Slow, fast, fast, slow, two. Three, four, five, six, slow, fast, fast, slow, slow, fast, fast, slow, seven, eight, Couple more. Nine. Slow, fast, fast, slow. Slow, fast, fast, slow. Ten. Shake it out. My next exercise is going to build up on this one. Slow on the front foot of the first advance. Fast, fast to complete my double advance. Back to slow and fast again on back foot lunge. Demonstration. Slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. Recover, slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. Same idea, both directions, slow, fast, slow, fast. I'll do demonstration one more time. Slow front foot, fast back foot advance, slow front foot, fast back foot lunge, slow recover, double retreat, slow retreat, double retreat. We will do two series of 10 repetitions. Let's get in position. Let's begin. Slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. 
slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. One. Two. Three. Slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. Four. Five. Six. Slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast, slow, fast, fast. Seven. Eight. Couple more. Nine. One more. Ten, I relax. Long set. I give myself a normal break than usual. Remember, if the sets of ten are too long, if the sets of ten are getting your muscles too tight, break it in sets of five. If the sets of 10 are too easy, increase to 15 or 20 repetitions. I will do the same thing one more time and move to my final, final section for today. Let's get back on guard, nice and flex, slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. Recover slow, fast, fast. Slow, fast, fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one. Ten, and relax. You may drink. For my final section, I will work change of rhythm with change of direction and break in the rhythm. The break in the rhythm is going to be when I bring a full stop in the middle of my flow. The stop goal is to either really trigger a reaction on a specific moment or create a tension in the opponent and create a moment. My first set is going to be 
advance, double advance, three steps forward. The goal is to bring a lot of speed and collapse the distance quickly to create a reaction. I will stop after the double advance to draw that reaction and get away with the double retreat. This looks like this. Slow, fast, fast, pause, fast, fast. Prepare, forward, get out. I will execute 10 repetitions of that set. Let's get in position. Make sure you have a nice flex on the legs to be very efficient on the break and change of direction. My front leg is going to require a lot of push to accelerate this to retreat. Let's begin. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. One. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. Two. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. Three. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. Four. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. Five. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. Six. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and I lose it. This set should bring much more tension in the legs. I will build on the same sequence and add an advanced lunge after the double retreat. I will start this advanced lunge slow and accelerate into it. Series of 10. Let's go. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast, slow, fast. Control, reset, that's one, again. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast, slow, fast. Two, and reset. Three, and reset. Four, reset. Slow, fast, fast, break, fast, fast, break, slow, fast. Five. Six. Slow, fast, 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 fast slow, fast. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, control the recover before you relax. My next sequence is going to start from retreat. I will start with a slow retreat, slow fast to provoke your break, fast, fast to pull the distance. From there, I will execute a fast advanced lunge to repost. Again. 
little fast break, fast, fast to defend. Little break, pass fast to repost. Series of 10. Let's begin. Slow, fast, pause, fast, fast, pause, fast, fast. And recover, reset. Slow, fast, break, fast, 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 fast. Recover, reset. Two. Three. Two, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Four. Fast, 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 fast. Five. Control the balance as you work fast advanced lunge. Go fast, balance, fast, fast, balance, fast, fast. Six. Seven. Go fast, 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 fast. Eight. I control my balance. Go fast, 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 fast. Nine. One more. Go fast, break. Fast, 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 fast. Ten. And I relax. This brings me to my final set for today. I will work from two slow retreat and change direction into a fast advance. Go retreat, pass advance to challenge, over the opponent, get out with two fast retreat. From there, advance lunge, pass fast again. I will demonstrate this one more time. Slow to retreat, sharp advance to provoke, your break, fast, fast advance to defend, your break, fast, fast advance lunge to repost 10 repetitions on that sequence. Let's get in position. Slow, slow, fast, break, fast, 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 fast. One. Slow, slow, fast, fast, fast. Two, and I recover, and I reset. Slow, fast, 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 fast. Three, reset your distance. Slow, slow, fast, over, fast, fast, defend, fast, fast, repost. That's four. Five, don't forget to break the rhythm after the fast step, slow, fast break, fast, fast break, fast, fast, control, recover, and at six repetition, slow, fast, 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 seven, Eight, reset, slow, fast, 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 nine, reset, slow, fast, 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 recover, that's ten, you may relax. This concludes today's work. Again, focus was on change of rhythm, we worked simple change of rhythm, multiple change of rhythm, 
and breaking with them combined with change of direction. I encourage you to go through that video a few times to refocus on the technical execution and the timing of, e of each change of rhythm. Ultimately, in the fencing bout, I want to be able to change rhythm at any time, on any step, or on any leg. Don't forget to stretch once you're done watching the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button to be receiving an email when we post new content. This way you make sure you don't miss anything. Like this video if you find it useful, helpful. Comment if you have ideas, suggestions for my future videos, or questions on something specific. Until next time, stay healthy. Goodbye.